Hi, this is Terrell, the Clever Chick, and I'm here with another quick tip on how to live fabulously in a small space. It's hard to feel fabulous when you're cold, and it can be really tempting to use your stove top or your oven for a quick hit to take the chill off your trailer. That is not a good idea. The first reason you don't want to use your stove top or your oven as a heat source is that they're not vented. That's especially true in the winter when you generally have your windows and your doors closed to keep what heat you have inside. The second reason is that burning a flame actually creates a moisture vapor and that can lead to condensation and mold, which can create health issues as well as structural damage to your trailer. My first tip on staying warm is the one that we all know and it's what our moms told us. Put on your jacket! Always have a jacket or a sweater that's easy to grab, put it on. Having layers is the best way to keep warm. Another great tip is to take a hottie to bed. Not necessarily the kind of hottie you're thinking about, but a hottie like a hot water bottle or a heating pad. It might seem retro, but now there are some really wonderful designs and different styles that are available. If you look online, you can see them in every single color as well as fabric covers that really fit with your own decor and also allow you to express your personal style. When you wanna stay warm, you fill it up with hot water from the tap, as hot as you can stand, put it in, in its fashionable cover or just go old school and take a nice towel, wrap it around a couple of times, put it on your tummy, on your back, you can even use it on your shoulders or under your feet, anywhere that you want a little extra warmth. A really great way to get yourself warm at the end of the day is to give yourself a nice, relaxing foot bath. It'll get you warm, starting from your toes up, and it's also just a great way to pamper yourself. There's so many options. You can go out and buy yourself a beautiful therapeutic foot bath, or you can make do with some of the items that you have already in your trailer. What's important is what you put in the water. You can keep it simple and just put in a few mint leaves, rose petals, even a tea bag maybe that you're not using. Or you can go fancier and get some aromatic oils, essential oils. The important thing is that you can smell the fragrance and that you can also feel the warmth on your feet. Remember, it's just not safe for you to use your stove or your oven to heat your trailer. Instead, Use one of the alternatives I suggested. You can always find more resources on our website, trailerchicksproductions.com. And you can also find tips on our YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to and follow us on Facebook. Mm -hmm.